is a new one, a new Where Are They Now segment. The <laughs> former Defence Counsel for former Guantanamo Bay detainee David Hicks has moved to Australia to work as a civilian lawyer. Dan Murray, or Major Michael Murray, as he was known during the Hicks's trial, has joined the Office of Shine Lawyers in Melbourne. Where is he? He's with us in the studio. No. <laughs> thanks Good for morning. coming. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Why the sea change or the Australia change? Well, it, you know, I was coming up with 28 years that I've been in the Marine Corps and I needed a change and needed a second career and I had taken the bar in Hawaii and was going to settle in Hawaii. An opportunity came up with Shine uh, too, and, and here I am and I'm very excited about it. What will you be doing with this new job? Well, Shine has started a social justice department. It's uh, based right now out of Sydney and it's being run by George Newhouse up mm. there. Uh, and they're expanding and, and they asked me would I like to get involved in the Victoria office and I said great. And so I packed up the wife and the three kids and, and moved here. Now, you're looking pretty tanned and <laughs> relaxed. I think I last saw you at Guantanamo Bay yeah. about three or four years yeah. ago at the Hicks trial. Fill us in. What, what have you done in the, in the interim? Well, once I was done with the David Hicks case, I went to California to Miramar, the air base out there. Did a little six, seven months in Iraq, back to Miramar, and then I uh, became a judge and was stationed out in Hawaii as the Navy Marine Corps judge uh, in Marine Corps Base Hawaii in Pearl Harbor for three years. And then I had to make the decision whether I wanted to stay in or get out. Now that's your physical journey. I'm interested in your emotional journey because you've now taken a really very different challenge in terms of these sort of social justice issues that Shine it, likes it, to get involved it, yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I had my little five minutes of fame. I, I'm interested... Well, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really interested in... in uh, you know, I've been teaching a class at Melbourne University for the past two years, once, yep. once coming over. I'm excited about learning from George and the, and, and the Shine team here in Melbourne and working with them. But, I'm, you know, I'm interested in... Um, I'm interested in the issue of the whole the sexual assaults in the military is something I've been following from abroad because it sort of mirrors what's been going on it's, in our military. It's a military. fairly big issue in the U.S. military, it, isn't it? it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And it's also something that's sort of bubbled up here. Uh, the treatment of people and in, in, in whether, in like the articles today, dealing with those people in uh, receiving treatment that are disabled, that are in care facilities that may be getting uh, mistreated. And so it's really looking out for the little guy. And, and I sort of felt that way in my military career, making sure everyone got a fair shake. And I think if you're looking out for the little person and you're treating everybody with the same respect that you want to be treated and you do the right thing, um, good things will happen. We saw 17 prominent uh, lawyers coming out today in a letter to the government and the opposition to, to look at asylum seeker policy and some of the, the rules around that. Is that something that uh, you've been taking note well, of? Well, George Newhouse up in Sydney is already doing that and dealing with uh, really focusing on how people are treated in detention. They don't necessarily deal with migration uh, law, but if you're detaining someone, how are you going to treat them? You've got to treat them with the basic respect that you'd want anybody to be treated with. Uh, David Hicks, are you still in contact with him? Uh, yeah, I've never, never stopped being in contact with him. Um, uh, you know, he knows I'm here. I've talked to him. He's done really well. I'm, I'm really proud of him that he's, he's came back. He kept his nose clean and worked hard. Um, How's he going? I think pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think as well as can be expected uh, for what he went through. Um, and I think he's trying to get back on with his life, and he's done a great job. I think. Now, you're still uh, uh, an active member of the Marines, so you obviously can temper your answer to this question accordingly. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was a fairly high-profile case, yeah. certainly in Australia and, and definitely in the US, having covered it firsthand. You copped a, an enormous amount of, uh, amount of criticism from the US military from within senior ranks there for your very strong role defending David Hicks. It's fair to say your career prospects were dented somewhat after your time there defending David Hicks. How about if we talk about it after 1 October when I'm off active duty? That's all right. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, basically, I'm here. I still got to do some courses to get my official licensing. So I feel a sort of special counsel role. Um, and, and I'm excited. I'm really happy to be back in Australia. Everybody I met was so wonderful. Um, and or I'm, Australians. I'm, I mean, how can we not That's be right. That's right. That's right. Where are you going to be based? In Victoria. In Victoria. In Victoria, in the, right on Lonsdale Street in the, off the Shine office there, and uh, hopefully doing with the university as well, getting some work done. And the transition's not too bad because you're familiar with at least one of our big football codes here. <laughs> as a former... Yes, yeah, yeah, rugby union, right? Do you, talk, you don't talk about that. Yeah, you're a former player. Yeah, 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 yeah. From what yeah. I hear, pretty good player. Yeah, yeah. In my old days, I got talked into playing in a, a uh, old boys game the last weekend before I flew, and it was I'm not so fast anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we all get old, don't yeah. Well, you'll have to choose an AFL team, just not the Western Bulldogs. Is that right? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Bulldogs all the way. Right? Col no, no, not oh. no, no, no. Oh, Dan, if anything, not Collingwood. <laughs> okay. well, well, you're going to lose that tan, but we're looking forward to seeing okay. you around a lot more. Thanks right. for coming. Thank Great you very much you. for having me.